Hello, I am Katrina and welcome to the 21 day challenge. 21 minutes a day for 21 days, making little steps towards feeling better and living bigger. As always, do what feels right in your body, never pushing to the point of pain. Make sure you've got your water in case you're thirsty. My job, I'm going to set the timer for 21 minutes so that I can keep myself and you on track. Here we go. Standing at the top of your mat. Feet a comfortable distance apart. Bring your awareness to the soles of your feet. Get a sense that, that there is a good connection between the sole of your foot, the mat below, the earth below the mat. Roll your shoulders back. Open up through the collarbones ever so slightly. Feel taller, a little more open, just by drawing the shoulders back. You can go ahead and close your eyes, but if you don't want to close your eyes, just let whatever you're looking at go out of focus so you can bring all of your awareness to how your body is feeling, really connected to your body, your mind, and your breath. As you inhale, sweep your arms out and up. And as you exhale, just let them fall forward and just slowly float down in time with your breath. Now sweeping forward and up with the inhalation. On the exhalation, sweep out and down, slowly with control. Let's do that two more times. Sweeping out and up to the side. Really try to pull your hands out of your peripheral vision to open up through the shoulders a little bit more. And exhaling, letting the hands with control slowly float down. Floating forward and up with the breath in. And then the breath out, sweeping out and down. Really feel the shoulders working, opening up. Relax the arms, let your arms feel heavy. Use the weight of your arms to help tuck your shoulders down away from your ears. And bring your hands to your belly, your lower belly, just below your belly button. With your next breath, deliberately expand through the lower belly with your inhalation. And as you exhale, focus on dropping, sinking all of your weight oh, into the soles of your feet. You can feel your shoulders get heavier. Do that for two more breaths. Expand through the belly. And as you exhale, just sink down into the soles of the feet. One more breath. Really take your time with your breath. And release the hands. All right, roll through the shoulders. Bend your elbows to get some bigger movements into the shoulders. Bending the elbows while you roll the shoulders increases your range of motion. Range of motion is the movement in the joint when the muscles are not engaged. And now roll the shoulders in the opposite direction. Hear all those pops and cracks. That's normal. Everybody has that. Don't worry about that. and then relax the arms. Take a breath in, sweep out to the side, and on the breath out, bow forward. Hinge at the hip, bend your knees, place the heel of your hands on your knees for support. Really try to be as long as you possibly can from your tailbone to the crown of your head. Now as you inhale, pull your chin away from your chest, look forward. At the same time, open up through the rib cage and let the lower back sway. And as you exhale, tuck the tailbone under, tuck your chin towards your chest, really squeeze your belly button towards your spine and spread your shoulder blades wide. Breath in, lift the eyes, look forward. Rib cage opens, there's sway in the lower back. Exhale, chin tucks towards the chest, belly button pulls in, tailbone scoops under, shoulder blades spread wide. Really exaggerate the spreading and the stretch you feel in the back of the body. Inhale, lift the eyes look forward. 
Feel the length in the front of the body here. And as you exhale, tucking under, lengthening the back of the body. Inhale, lift the eyes up forward. Exhale, round through the back. Now before letting go with your hands on your knees, really feel the soles of your feet and push down. Feel an extra little connection as you push into the mat with the soles of your feet. Then your arms are free. Now slowly roll up, one vertebrae at a time. Make sure you're breathing the whole way. And as the shoulders stack over top of the hips, roll the shoulders back, lift the chin until your ears are stacked over top of your shoulders. Now sweep the arms out, bring the palms together overhead. Keep the arms as long as you possibly can. So lots of length through the elbow as much as possible. Palms together. If you can't get your palms together, touch your fingertips together. Now tilt your head back just a tiny little bit so you're looking up at the corner in front of you where the wall meets the ceiling. And reach through the arms, the elbows a little bit more. And with your exhalation, keep the arms long, but relax the shoulders. Ah. Now breathe into the belly, the lower belly, just like you did at the very beginning when your hands were gently placed by your belly button. It's a little harder now because you're working harder. With your next breath out, bring the palms together at the same time, bending the elbows, letting the hands float down in front of you. Pause with your hands right in front of heart center. Relax the shoulders, relax your jaw. Tension creeps in there, it's tricky. Before you know it, it's there and everything is tight. So with awareness, you have to realize when the tension is there and let it go. Now take a breath. And as you exhale, just step your right foot back, a regular step. Push all the way down onto your heel. Soften through your left knee, so your left knee is over top of your left ankle. Standing tall. Now inhale, let the hands float up. And as you exhale, just let your hands go wide as if your arms, your fingertips are pointing corner to corner. Relax the shoulders. Now bring your gaze up again to that spot at the corner where the wall meets the ceiling. So you feel really open through the front of the body here. Push down through your right heel. Lengthen the back of the right knee as much as possible. Thumbs pointing behind you, fingers outstretched, palms open. And then reconnect to your breath. The mind body breath connection. Next exhale, bring your arms to your sides, hands to your hips. Now use your right heel to push into the mat and hinge your shoulders forward. Keep the left knee soft. Square out your hips. You want to feel like your shoulders are square to the front of your mat, that you're not turned to the left or turned to the right. Bring your eyes just to the front of your mat. Place your left hand on the back of your hip so the heel of your hand is on your hip and your fingers are pointing down towards your left heel. Right hand comes to the top of your left thigh. And just place your hand over your thigh. Take a breath. And as you exhale, use your right hand on your thigh to gently twist through the shoulders, looking to the left. Use your left hand on your hip to roll open through the left shoulder. Ah. Oh. Now you can stay here and look at the wall to the left, or with your next breath out, you can turn to look upwards. Right, turning through the chin, not just moving your eyes. This challenges your balance just a little bit more. And you can feel the strength in the left hip here. And every time your body sways and corrects itself, 
you're improving your balance. The twist, enhancing your mobility. Breathing into the belly. Mind, body, breath connection. Now take one more breath in. And as you exhale, untwist, releasing the twist, bringing both hands to your hips here. Bring the shoulders, stack them up over top of your hips. Now come up onto the ball of your right big toe and step forward. Releasing the hands. Let's inhale, sweep the arms up. Bring the palms together overhead. Remember, if you can't bring the palms together, touch the fingertips. Lift your eyes to look towards the corner where the wall meets the ceiling. Lengthen through the elbows, through the arms, and as you exhale, relax through the shoulders. Let the arms do all the reaching, not the shoulders. Feel steady on the soles of your feet. Weight equally distributed between the right foot and the left foot. A breath. And as you exhale, let your hands float down, palm pressing to palm. So if you were touching fingertips, now as the elbows bend, bring the palms together. Hands right in front of heart center. Take a breath. And as you exhale, step the left foot back this time. Just a regular step back, push all the way onto the heel. Lengthen the left leg as much as possible. Soften the right knee. Right knee stacked over top of your right ankle. Pausing here. Feel steady through the soles of your feet. Then with your next breath, as you inhale, the hands float up. And with the exhalation, just bring the hands wide as if you're pointing corner to corner. Thumbs pointing behind you, palms stretched, fingers reaching. Soften through the shoulders. Return your gaze to the corner where the wall meets the ceiling. Feeling open through the front of the body. Powerful in this warrior one stance. Steady yourself with your breath. Next breath out, sweep your arms around, bringing your hands to your hips. Hinge the shoulders forward, pushing into the mat, the floor, with your left heel to shift your weight forward and feel steady. And adjust slightly, you want to feel square to the top of your mat. Shoulders square, hips square. Right hand comes to the back of your hip. Fingers pointing down towards the mat, heel of your hand on your hip. Left hand comes over the top of the right thigh. Take a breath. And as you exhale, just gently twist towards the right, rotating the rib cage, the shoulders. You can pause here. Now use your right hand on your hip to roll the right shoulder open. Feel the twist deepen ever so slightly. You can keep your eyes on the wall to the right or with your next breath out. Lift your eyes by turning your chin, not just moving your eyes, to look upwards. Now bring your breath back to the lower belly. Feel your body correcting itself with every breath, replenishing itself with every breath. A breath in. With your exhalation, release the twist, bringing both hands to your hips. Now, Push with your left foot, anchoring yourself to bring your shoulders back over top of your hips. Come up onto the ball of your left big toe first, and then step forward. Release the hands. (sighs) 
Inhale, sweep the arms out and up. As you exhale, dive forward. Bend your knees, place your hands on the tops of your knees. Pause here. Take a breath. And as you exhale, round through the back. Slowly, tuck your chin towards your chest. Soles of the feet pressing into the mat. And now release the arms. Just let your arms dangle for a moment. Now slowly roll up. One vertebrae at a time. Feel them stacking one on top of the other. Hips over top of the heels. Shoulders stack over top of the hips. Ears over top of the shoulders. Now sweep the arms up. Feel the full roll up. And as you exhale, bow forward once again. Bending your knees on the way down. Bend your knees enough that you can bring your hands to your shins or the floor, if that's accessible to you. Relax your head. Just let your head dangle for a moment. Now lift your eyes, look forward. Look towards the top edge of your mat. Reach your right hand forward just until you feel a stretch beginning to happen from your right armpit to your right hip and then give your right hip just a little tug back. And then breathe into that space. Feel the extra stretch that comes with each breath. It's really important here to keep your eyes towards the top edge of the mat. Because I don't want anybody passing out. If you feel lightheaded, just go ahead and come up to standing or halfway with your hands on your knees. And release the right hand. Shift your weight back to center, equal weight on both feet. Reach with the left hand just until you feel the stretch in the left side of your body from your armpit to your hip. And then give the left hip a little tuck back to deepen the stretch. And reconnect with your breath. Feel the movement of your belly against your thighs. That's how you know you're breathing, using your belly, giving your breathing muscle, the diaphragm, a good workout. And release. Now come halfway up. Knees soft, hands on your knees. Take a breath. Lifting the eyes, look forward, and as you exhale, just broaden through the fronts of the shoulders. Feel your shoulder blades sliding in towards your spine. Push down with the soles of your feet, pausing here with knees soft. Release your hands. Now sweep your arms forward, just coming into a chair pose. Feel your weight shifting up ever so slightly. Pausing for a couple of breaths. Getting some lower body work in here. your next breath in, lift up. Sweep the arms all the way up. Now draw the belly button in towards the spine. Create some, some strength through the rib cage and the midsection. Long arms, open hands, fingers spread, thumbs pointing behind you. Now try to open up through the shoulders. Bring your biceps into line with your ears. This takes quite a bit of strength, so go easy here. Just do what you can manage. Soften through the shoulders and notice if you're clenching your jaw. Let it go. Breathe into the belly. One more breath. You can do it. I know you can. And as you exhale, let the arms sweep down. Bringing the hands to the lower belly. You can go ahead and close your eyes or just let your eyes glaze over and everything go out of focus. Breathe into the belly. Feel how wonderful it is to take a breath.
Take your time with your breath. Release your hands. As you inhale, sweep the arms up. Bring hands together overhead and let your hands float down, resting with hands right in front of heart center. Inhale, hands floating up once again. This time, as you exhale, let the hands sweep out and down. Bring your, the heels of your hands to the back of your hips. Create some strength through the front of the belly by drawing the belly button in. Roll the fronts of the shoulders back. Now squeeze your elbows in towards each other. Try not to arch through the back or clench through the buttocks. Use the front of the belly for stability. Hug the rib cage in. Breathe. Release the hands. Oh, relax the shoulders. Feel ease of being. Return to your body after that moment of tension. Oh, that's 21 minutes. Perfect timing. Let's inhale, sweep the arms up. Exhale, releasing the arms down, bringing hands to the lower belly. Check in with your breath. Notice how you're feeling. Sweep the arms out and up. Hands together overhead. Draw your hands down to heart center. Take a moment here. Go ahead and close your eyes or bring your gaze downward. And just say a prayer for the universe. May all beings be healthy. May all beings be happy. May all beings be loved. And may all beings be at peace. Thank you so much for joining me today and making time for you. Until next time, namaste.